Hey guys, so next up on my cardboard camper build is the bathtub. And if you see my previous video, I did this um, pantry. And the thing is, you know, I, I was thinking if that pantry turned out really bad, then I would just stop and abort mission on this crazy idea of a cardboard uh, uh, camper build. But, you know, it actually turned out all right. And I think uh, I could have actually made it a little bit stronger, too. But, you know, it's my first cardboard attempt, so it wasn't as good. But I think everything else is going to be a little bit better. So uh, today we're going to build the bathtub. Now, believe it or not, uh, the bathtub is actually really easy. And if you saw my origami bath build, you could click the link up there. You could see why I'm actually not afraid of uh, building this out of cardboard at all. But basically, I'm going to build up a cardboard wall similar to what I have here. I'm going to line it with um, some plastic sheeting. And that plastic sheeting is like an indoor-outdoor sheeting that I got from the Home Depot that uh, people use to... Um, grow their plants in so you know it, it's it's very durable and the thing is if it gets dirty you could cut it up and throw it out and put in a new liner you know it's pretty easy so it's semi disposable um, but anyways I'm gonna build that right here and the cardboard will will flex and bend but that's okay you know this so will the plastic sheeting so there's there'll be no problem with it all right good news is I have a box that's close it's close to the the right size you could see there's some gap there and there's some gap over there too but I'm going to open it up a little bit to, and make it a little bit bigger and then build a higher wall because these walls are a little too shallow you know if you you have the the shower uh, curtains you, you certainly don't want it to potentially flip over and, and get outside you know then you're going to get wet but anyways i'm going to build the wall up higher i'm actually probably going to build it maybe even slightly higher than the current one um but you know we'll see all right Let's see how this fits. It's actually really, really close. I shouldn't have to modify this too much at all. It's going to make a great basin. All right, so if you have a Sienna, this is what it looks like. And this is the hole that I used right here. And this carpet used to be like that. And there's this cover that was hiding that hole that's why I bent I just cut the carpet and I bent it back but this cover hit that hole and there's another one on that side where I um, have the, the drainage to the sink so that sink goes down there but anyways just so you know what it looks like nice big hole I keep that there all right look at that with just a little bit of modification I was able to fit the shape pretty easily so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up the walls and then tape it all together all right I taped up these walls let's put it in very good it's gonna fit great so now I need to crawl underneath and draw a hole from the bottom side so I know where it is so I'm not just shooting blind so I'm going to crawl, crawl underneath the car, draw that circle, and cut that out. Alright, got this guy. Going to have to cut the hole bigger than that. Alright my drain in and I'll tighten it on the bottom side but first I got to build the walls and put in the liner all right so now that I taped up the side walls let's put this in to see how well it fits 
So my mic battery died and I didn't really realize it. So I'm going to do a voiceover for now. I'm going to put everything back in, see how well it fits. Everything seems to be fitting really nice and snug, so that's really good. All right, let's test this out. The cardboard doesn't really have to hold very much weight at all because, you know, it's, it's really just sitting on the, the bottom. So uh, other than the sidewalls, the bottom of the cardboard, no problem. So you can see I fit in just like the previous bathtub, and I think it's going to work out great. So let's get that liner in and give it a shot. So this is the liner I'm going to use. I got this at the Home Depot. It's 3.5 millimeters. Uh, you could get thicker ones. Uh, I just got this because it's kind of in the middle, not too thick, not too thin. But if you're going to do this, you may want to consider a thicker one. So I'm just going to cut it to size. All right, so I taped the liner to the side of my box. And uh, uh, later I'm going to find out this was a bad idea, but uh, we're going to figure it out as we go along. But next up, I need to cut the hole out. You want to make sure there are no straight lines when you cut this hole so it's a circle so that it doesn't want to keep tearing. I got a pair of scissors to make the cut a little bit easier, but uh, once I got the right size, we're going to try to fit this thing in to see how well it looks. So we're going to use a little bit of caulking around the edges to, so that it's more watertight. Going to add the caulking around the back side too. All right, I got it in there nice and tight, so let's let it dry and uh, come back in a couple of days. All right, two days have passed, and here's my uh, drainage, and it's dry. The, the caulking is dry, so let's give it a shot. You see, there's the plastic liner, and again, this is uh, semi-disposable, so if it gets too ratty, just replace the plastic. No big deal. Here's the walls, firm enough. Let's give it our test. All right, so I, I don't need to put on the curtains or anything like that to test the drainage. It's just not part of it. So I got a big bucket of water and seems to be working fine. Let's take a look. So you can see all that water. Let's just pour it all in. Take a look at underneath. And there, it's draining out of the hole. It's coming just straight out of the pipes and not out of the side. So that's a good sign that it's not leaking. Let's take a look. Looks like it is leaking a little bit. Uh, you can see the cardboard, so we're going to need to improve on this design a little bit. So let's take a look at it. So let's first look at the bottom. The bottom is completely dry, so that's a good sign. That's what I want to see. But it looks like there's some water coming through there, and I'm, I wonder if I have a hole somewhere and I, oh, and I actually do oh boy all right so again it didn't make any sense to me why water is going in there but it does now looks like I might have cut this when I was cutting the bag you can see it's a pretty clean slice so I'm gonna redo this again uh, without a cut well the good news is like I said, this is a semi-disposable um, tub with this plastic liner, so I'm going to dispose of this liner and swap it out with a new one. All right, so I'll give it a day or two to dry out, and then I'll put on the new liner and we'll test it all over again. So I think it might have been a blessing in disguise that uh, I cut the bag and made it leak because I decided that this is a bad design because what I did was I, I put the bag over this and I clamped the the bag and the cardboard together but this compression it's going to get looser and looser in time and 
it'll start leaking then. So what I want to do is I want to cut a bigger hole and just have uh, the compression on the bag. So instead of going through the bag and the um, cardboard, I'm just going to go through the bag and then have this and then just have this go right through to the bottom. So I need to cut a bigger hole so that this would fall right in. So I want to make sure it, it fits this whole thing and then the whole um, bag will be recessed inside the thing, inside the hole. So it'll, that'll work much better. So that should fit through it. Yep, perfect. Now let's cut another bag that'll fit. Uh, it's just basically a liner. You know, I, it doesn't have to be any kind of perfect fit. So I'm going to cut the hole right here. And this is a RV drain. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for this too. It's a, it's very small and compact. You'll see. And I put this little tube just so that the water funnels out a little bit better. That was from a previous build. Screw it right onto the. The plastic liner and this makes it you know easily to dispose of too you know if you want to change the liner it's a lot easier than if i cocked it and put it in the wood i don't know why i did it the first time but given a second chance to do things we always do things better right see and this i don't have to um, silicon cock it or anything because it it is just compressing the plastic liner which is not hard to do there you go and then it'll just push in like that it'll be recessed into the hole all right let's try this again so now it's a separate bag and much more easily disposed of now, which is good. You can see the hole. It's basically the size of um, the hole that's on the bottom. That's good. So now for the bag, or the bath, not the bag, I'll just Stick it in the hole. And everything else will just kind of peel back like that. And to hold the bags in place, just regular paper clips if you you need to have a little bit more security and you don't want you don't want to make sure the bag is not um, going like that or anything like that. You, know, you could just put a little paper clip. Alright, so let's give it a test. Okay, looks good. Cardboard is dry this time because there's no holes in it <laughs> in the, the liner. See the water is coming out the back. All right, perfect. Okay, so now let's take a look. If there's any water left, you could just kind of lift it up and just drain it out. But this time, you could see it is very dry. No water at all. That's perfect. There's any water you could just kind of lift the bag and drain it out you don't even need the squeegee okay All right so we know the tub is good the disposable tub is good for those of you that haven't seen my full shower with the curtains you know we'll set that up just in case you haven't seen it all right so for those of you that hasn't seen the shower curtains it's just held together with the I have a bungee cord that goes across and a little side thing for the curtains over here and of course when the doors close I have a curtain on this side too so um, that's the way it's gonna work 
Let's demo this thing again. So you would just basically sit on it. I mean, sit on this. And you would sit here and you would take your shower. And for the water, I have one of my favorite devices, this Sun Joe water thing. So let's get some water in it and then we'll show it to you. All right, so it's, it's rechargeable. I'm just gonna turn it on. Climb in here, and I'm not gonna worry because uh, nothing's gonna rip. The, the bag is being held up with the, uh, with the weight of the car, so it kind of flexes to whatever the shape of the car is. Uh, the, the cardboard is more to hold up the sides. So, you know, you can see, as you're taking a shower, all the water is going to come down here. The water is going to come down and everything's just going to funnel down. And no, it's not going to get the car wet. So, you know, I, I'm in here, I'm wearing my shoes, I don't hesitate because you know, the bag is durable enough. Uh, if you want to get a thicker bag than the one I have, well, I say bag, but plastic sheeting, you know, the thicker the plastic sheeting, the stronger it'll be. So you could get thicker plastic sheeting, whatever. Uh, if you get thinner ones, you'll have to throw it away a little bit sooner. If you get thicker ones, you won't have to throw it away as often. Uh, this one is kind of in the middle. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin either. But anyways, there's my cardboard shower. Okay, so you know, after you're done showering, if you want to travel, I, I recommend just for the integrity of the bag that you don't accidentally rip it or anything like that. You just take off your pins and what you do is just push the bag over. Just fold it up and then uh, you can put a, your, your paper clip hold it up something like that. That way there's less chances of you accidentally cutting the bag or something like that. So if you want to travel, just travel like that. And of course, you know, the, the box is not really holding any weight. You know, it, the ground is holding the weight. This, the box is just a bit of a liner. So, you know, you could walk on it, do whatever you want. It's going to be very, very sturdy, very stable. It's not holding any weight. And of course, just like the old design, I could put my little devices, little items in the side there, the shower curtain. It's going to go right here. So everything's going to stash away really nicely. And yes, the tub is a storage bin when it's not being used as a tub. So there you have it. Cardboard shower. Not bad.